With a new school year, there's plenty to be excited about. I'm going to play at the big playground seeing my friends again. I got new I can get new friends. And forging alliances in the political playground. Bingo. This is a landmark day for public education. Western Australia will become the first state in Australia to fully fund public schools. To get there, the Commonwealth is boosting its contribution in WA from 20% to 22.5, or $770 million over five years. We're very grateful for that huge injection of, of funding and resourcing. That will be matched by the state and will bring us to the magical mark of Fulgonski, 100% of the SRS. Except for in the ACT, no public school across the country is on track to be at 100% of what David Gonski said was the level they need to be at. It's really disappointing that we haven't seen the states step up and of course we haven't seen Jason Clare put the blowtorch on the states. Jason Clare says negotiations with other states and territories about their funding splits with the Commonwealth are well underway. This is money that'll be used to help children who need it the most and I want to work with my state colleagues to do that in other parts of the country as well but I'm not going to negotiate the deal on telly. Our position is that the Commonwealth needs to increase their share by 5%. The statement of intent signed by WA Today has a no worse off clause, meaning if any other state reaches a better deal with the Commonwealth, Western Australia will get the same deal. The funding injection is set to go towards things like extra tutoring for struggling students, rolling out to disadvantaged schools first. James Carmody, ABC News, Perth.